On Bristol engines, we use master control carburetors. We are now going to show you diagrammatically what happens inside one of these when the throttle is progressively opened. In principle, this is the same for all types. We will assume the aircraft to be on the ground with the engine running and the throttle lever in the slow running position. Because the butterfly is closed, and there is no depression to take fuel from the choke delivery tube, but as the depression is concentrated at the airbox jets, the fuel is drawn up this duct until it meets air from the slow running air passage. Here it emulsifies, passes through the cutoff tube and airbox jets to the blur. At this stage, air passes in through the lower jets, further emulsifies the fuel, and this emulsion passes out through the upper jets to the blower. As the throttle is open slightly, Emulsified fuel is drawn out of all the jets. Note that this reverses the flow in the lower jets. A great deal happens as the lever is moved towards takeoff boost. First, the upper piston of the double acting accelerator pump gives an immediate discharge of fuel. This is followed by the delayed action pump giving its charge. As the throttle lever leaves the cruising range and moves towards a rated boost, the power cam opens the power valve to pass extra fuel into the choke delivery tube. And as the throttle lever moves to take off, the enrichment cam opens the enrichment valve and this added fuel is passed direct into the intake to richen the mixture just for takeoff boost. Here then is the very rich mixture passing into the blower at takeoff. Notice that the butterfly is still only partly open. Once we have taken off, this very rich mixture is not required for climbing and the boost must be reduced. So we bring the throttle back to rated. The enrichment valve closes immediately, but the power valve remains open. So this is what is happening in the carburetor when the throttle is at rated boost. When we have reached our predetermined altitude, the throttle is brought back to cruising boost. And as it reaches this position, the power valve closes, leaving only the main jet and diffuser in operation. All this would be very simple if the density of the atmosphere remained constant. But as we climb, the density gets less. Therefore, we have to have some means of maintaining the correct boost pressure and also of keeping the strength of the mixture in its correct proportion. This is done by the boost and mixture control unit, which you see here removed from the carburetor. Here is a diagram showing you the boost control first. In this chamber, which only induction pressure from the blower can enter, is this aneroid capsule. As that pressure varies, the capsule expands or contracts 
and in doing so, moves this piston valve, which allows pressure oil from the engine to move this servo piston down, or up, The action of this piston overrides the pilot setting of the throttle by means of suitable linkage and adjusts the butterfly just that amount required to maintain the correct boost pressure. It should be appreciated, however, that the boost pressure is in effect pre-selected by the position of one of these cams, cruising, rated or takeoff on the pilot's lay shaft. And thus, whichever cam is in operation will determine a boost, which the action of this capsule will maintain at all altitudes up to the full height for the boost concerned. This is known as the three-stage variable datum boost control. The mixture control works in a similar way, but it is controlled by atmospheric pressure instead of induction pressure. Notice that as the piston rises, it pulls the valve up too, thereby cutting off the oil flow until the capsule expands or contracts again. By means of this other linkage, the servo piston operates this altitude valve, which allows air to leak to the diffuser head via this passage, so reducing the depression at the diffuser and compensating for the gradually decreasing density of the atmosphere as the aircraft gains altitude. In this way, the strength of the mixture is always kept in its correct proportion. For economy, when in steady level flight, now this lever, operated by the pilot, will rotate a sleeve bringing into operation another set of oil feed ports, allowing the pressure oil to actuate the servo piston from a higher datum position, thereby opening the altitude valve more fully and giving economical mixture when the throttle lever is in the cruising range. 